And so as you may know by now, uh, there's a thing called a mannequin challenge that's going on. And the latest thing about the mannequin challenge is that there was a mannequin challenge done by some uh, some uh, black folks, I think they were in Alabama, some in some southern state, and um, and they had uh, you know pistols, they had guns, but pistols, you know, and they did this mannequin challenge, and uh, they got busted, <laughs> busted for uh, uh, guns and and um, and drug possession, something like that, and then uh, the interesting thing, uh, like in the video, you clearly can see the uh, um, the license plate, you know, so the cops basically. Whatever the cops do, you know, you know how cops are. You know, they don't actually, they don't. You know, <laughs> let me put it this way: the, the the cops work best on informants and just stupidness. That that's how you get busted. You know, I mean, if you was a smart criminal, you probably wouldn't be touched at all. But back to the mannequin challenge. With the mannequin challenge, uh, also there is a uh, there's this whole thing going on now because some white folks. You know, did the mannequin challenge with guns? Again, license plate clearly shown there, uh, and the guns they used not just pistols; they had like automatic. Well, I mean, big, <laughs> huge guns. <laughs> it only goes to show, hey, you know, if you if you're black and you're gonna start some stuff, I don't think you have the gun. You don't have the the, the firepower, the the gun power, the the rifle power, the assault weapon power that these white folks in rural America got. So. Uh, you know, I have nothing else to say about that particular thing, but here's the thing, here's the thing that's interesting to me. Uh, uh, aside from being busted for being stupid, which is my estimation, uh, you know, we do everything, human beings do everything, or at least well, folks do everything against their own interests. And I'll give you a thing, people are on, on this mannequin challenge, but I think one of the most weirdest things is this whole tattooing. I mean, everybody's getting these tattoos. Uh, you know, I, I'm more of a scarification guy. I'd rather have scars, you know, tribal scars, you know, whatever you want to call it, than tattooing. Because tattooing to me is just like, um, I know in South Africa, there used to be this thing where uh, they, at least in the color community, this, this whole, I don't know if it's a myth or whatever have you, about taking the front teeth out, you know, the front two or four teeth out uh, because they used to put a, a tattoo on that tooth to show that you, you as, a, as a person was owned, I guess it was a black tooth, owned by a certain person, that tattoo would say you was owned by that person, whatever, whether it's myth or not, I don't know. But interestingly now, people are tattooing themselves with all kinds of things there. I mean, I saw one where they had this sister, she, you know, a, 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 a big derriere sister and she had a good morning and a you know a, a, a marijuana a, you know hemp leaf on this thing and that's what she was showing on on the photo and I just think it's quite interesting that um, I mean shades of 1984 uh, you know George Orwell's 1984 we do everything to condemn ourselves to label ourselves to I make mean, it's like slavery instead of slavery they used to put a you know a mark on you or whatever have you hey, we marking ourselves up so it's, the way the world is right now is quite interesting. Uh, interesting is the wrong word. It's quite diabolical, and we're doing this diabolicalness to ourselves. This is what the, the shame, the sin, and the shame of it all is. Uh, anyway, that's, that's just the way it is, I suppose. That's just from my perspective, being T from the Patterson's taking the train to Tibet, letting you know what I only suspect.